Hello, I'd just like to spend a little bit of time looking at a text with you and this is an extract from Roland Barthes, Rhetoric of the Image. Um, the reason I've chosen this is because it is a very difficult text but it's also really quite seminal to understanding semiotics so hopefully me going through this with you will help. So I'm going to start on page 33 and this little um, says the three messages and the text reads, here we have a Panzani advertisement, some packets of pasta, a tin, a sachet, some tomatoes, onions, peppers, a mushroom, all emerging from a half open string bag in yellows and greens on a red background. Let us try to skim off the different messages it contains. We'll stop for a second there because straight away it's obvious that Bart describes a particular advertisement and so the first thing I do at this point is go and find an actual copy of the advertisement itself and a quick Google search shows me this in fact this is the very abstract here so first of all I've looked for this and I can see the image Bart describes and this is going to help me understand how he unpicks it I'm going to continue to read now the image immediately yields a first message whose substance is linguistic it supports the caption, which is marginal, and the labels, these being inserted into the natural disposition of the scene, on a bin. The code from which this message has been taken is none other than that of the French language. The only knowledge required to decipher it is a knowledge of writing and of French. Well, if like me, your knowledge of French is really limited, you want to know what certain things say here. So, again, I'll open up a new tab and I'm going to do a Google search. There we go. So, this is the phrase I don't understand and I'm going to choose which source I look at. Wikipedia isn't always that um, reliable. I'm certainly not going to look at fun trivia because that doesn't sound as if it's going to help me and pick a serious text. But I've got um, Merriam-Webster, which is a dictionary name that I recognise here. And although the first sort of bit of the definition isn't very useful, the other two are containment of an entity within another identical entity or an image of an image. So I've kind of unpicked what that might mean. I can go back to my um, extract and think, yes, I understand how the labels could be interpreted as this. I'm going to carry on reading now. So, in fact, the message itself can be further broken down. The linguistic message is therefore twofold, at least in this particular image, denotational and connotational. Since, however, we have here only a single typical sign, namely that of articulated written language, it will be counted as one message. So, pausing there, lots of very unfamiliar vocabulary and in fact we will be discovering what these particular words mean in class but if I was reading this before class I would probably want to look them up in the same way that I've looked at that sort of um, language from a different um, culture so I'm going to go here I did actually do a Google search earlier um, let's see if I can find it for you semiotic signified so I want to know what signified means and I found a page from Daniel Chandler who is actually on the key reading list and signified, signified, oh the signified, the concept something represents. So although we will be covering this you've also got some useful extra knowledge and I would be doing that with all of these ideas denotational and connotational. Don't be afraid to look up what you don't understand. I'm going to carry on to read now. So, putting outside the linguistic message, we are left with a pure image, even if the labels are part of it, anecdotally. This image straight away provides a series of discontinuous signs. First, the order is unimportant, as these signs are not linear. The idea that what we have in the scene represented is a return from the market. A signified, which in itself implies two euphoric values that of the freshness of the products and that of the essentially domestic preparation for which they are destined. Its signifier is the half-open bag which lets the provisions spill out over the table, unpacked. 
To read this first sign requires only a knowledge which is in some sort implanted as part of the habits of a very widespread culture where shopping around for oneself is opposed to the hasty stocking up, preserves refrigerators, of a more mechanical civilization. A second sign is more or less equally evident. Its signifier is the bringing together of the tomato, the pepper, and the tricoloured hues, yellow, green and red, of the poster. Its signified is Italy, or rather Italianicity. This sign stands in a relation of redundancy with the connoted sign of the linguistic message, the Italian assonance of the name Panzani, and the knowledge it draws upon is already more particular. It is a specifically French knowledge. An Italian would barely perceive the connotation of the name, no more probably than he would the Italianicity of tomato and pepper, based on a familiarity with certain tourist stereotypes. Continuing to explore the image, which is not to say that it is not entirely clear at the first glance, there is no difficulty in discovering at least two other signs. In the first, the serried collection of different objects transmits the idea of a total culinary service. On the one hand, as though Panzani furnished everything necessary for a carefully balanced dish, and on the other, as though the concentrate in the tin were equivalent to the natural produce surrounding it. In the other sign, the composition of the image evoking the memory of innumerable alimentary paintings, sends us to an aesthetic signified, the nature mud, or as it, is, as it is better expressed in other languages, the still life, the knowledge on which this sign depends, is heavily cultural. And that's a huge paragraph, and it's packed, packed full of so much information. So don't panic there, I mean, if you didn't get everything at once. My advice would be, on coming to this for the first time is firstly understand that there's so much in there it will be very difficult to unpick without several careful readings and my advice would be is that you go back and you unpack that huge paragraph sentence by sentence and then idea by idea just keep going back and breaking up these ideas they do follow logically from one another so if you start, you start with this idea of the image as a series of discontinuance signs and then you go to this idea of Italianicity and then you continue to explore the image as a serried collection of different objects. So go back to that huge great paragraph and explode it, unpack it, break it down, try and understand idea after idea and then you can go back and get this whole kind of overview, umbrella, of what Bart talks about. Now, I'm kind of stopping myself for, from explaining parts of this to you, because we will be looking at this, this particular extract, within our class sessions. But if you do want to have a go at unpicking the meanings here, and could bring those to class and discuss that, that would be absolutely great. So good luck with that, and I really hope that this has been helpful. Thank you.